fine in yourself? Not good. Don't ask me again. I need to talk to the pit boss in charge of the poker games. Whoa, Let's go. The stream, uh, I'm breaking in. Hurry up. Uh, we're gonna switch things up for a We gotta call here. the fatties too. Uh, got, hey, got I'll Yad call the village poker. Certainly, how can I help you? I'm looking for a pit I'm boss in charge of poker. I don't need to talk to a woman. Is there a man I can talk to? Judd. The pit I'm making an announcement yeah, stupid. On, on the stream. I'm ha I'm really asleep. Hello? Uh, uh, this is the um, poker room. Yeah, well, I need to talk to a man in a suit, not um, you. What are you gonna do for Okay, me? hold on. Come refresh uh, my drink? Hello, everyone on the stream. Who's this? Let me pause the, my name is Cross. Uh, playing, the playing. We're currently playing yeah, Thanksgiving right. 2017, but uh, Jaya's here. Hi. And it's early in the morning, and I'm still asleep. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that mashed potato sandwich too later. What the fuck? Oh, Madhouse special. What the fuck is horsey cat? Yeah. I don't fucking know, <laughs> man. I think it's a cat with a horse's penis. <laughs> it's, it's a so stuffed like a, cat with a horse's penis. It's a half <laughs> horse, half cat toy. That don't mess with yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking. It's a stuffed cat with a horse's penis attached to it. <laughs> the, the, the fucking penis is like five times as long as a cat. <laughs> I just imagine this crazy Japanese style anime cartoon. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> advertisement like oh oh see God it yeah, it's got the it's got the cat ears and eyes and then a real long face why such a long face <laughs> a long face ma'am what are you looking for please did you call me a ma'am I'm sorry and sir what you, can I help you with God damn it shit ass shit fucking shit <laughs> <laughs> we lost him. <laughs> <laughs> My golly, it's the same. Oh, we got a fuzz line. Hang on, we'll try it again. to give thanks to the following people for helping make the show go. Dwight the Janitor, Wasted Memory for RogueServer.com, and Dragomir for the Corn Down at CornDown.com, as well as FreeSpeechMotherfucker.com. We also wish to thank our Patreons, such as Gordo, Crispy808, Dharma Wheelies, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Mr. Turbois, Parkman, Bone Losers of America, Benjamin, Despicable Dogs, Big Boy Farts, 666, Jesus Penus, and Turbo the High Level Squirrel. Thank you to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find our YouTube at youtube.com forward slash at madhouse militia. If you wish to contribute to the show, you can visit immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. If you want to listen to our live shows on Friday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific, you can visit ImmoralJuice.com. Good afternoon, Baltimore Museum of Art. Hey, hello. I'm, I'm so here. I've got a lost in here. Hello. Hello. Hey, yes, I'm in the museum. I was looking for the loo. But I've got a loss. Okay. Hello. Yes, we're, mm -hmm. yes. we're closed for the rest of the day. Yes. I've been in here since yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. I finally found my phone. Yes. Oh, you oh, lost yes. your phone? Yes. Yes. It's lost in the museum. Okay, um... We, were, we weren't open yesterday. 
They are the two states of girl. Oh, I was with my family as I took them to a large meal last night. But today, oh, today is the other day. And what is today? Today's Friday. Yes, and my family came to the, the home. They thought I had got lost again. Yes, but my phone's not with me. It must be there. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. From when did you lose it? Well, we were there all day. I haven't had the idea because I hadn't used it. Since the morning when they come pick me up. Why, yes. And I had, I'd eat it. And I haven't got it. And I believe it's there. Have you got a lost it found? What kind of phone is it? Yes, it's immobile. Immobile. Mm-hmm. What what day did you lose it? It was Tuesday. We weren't open on Tuesday. I don't know. Was it Wednesday? Did he say it was Wednesday? Then, yes. And that makes more sense then. Because I ate on yesterday. And I fasted all day Wednesday when I was at the museum. Yes. <laughs> Um, hold, hold on, um, yes. let me, let me see if anything was turned in. Yes. Okay. No. I don't know. I don't know. It was a Google, the Google phone, and it has the, the windmill on the front. Yes. It was the Norwegian phones. Yes, on uh, Wednesday. Person on and the they put it in my bonnet. She said out to the floor. That she lost it Tuesday, but uh, I was wondering if any cell phones were turned in this week. Dan, you can send that call to the office. 10 4. Yes, hello? Yes. Yes, uh, I'm going to transfer you to our lost and found. Oh, okay, God, can you yes, hold on? Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. I'm holding. Yes. Yes, I'm holding. Yes. Oh, yes, it's very loud. Hello? Yes, um... Yes. Uh... Yes. Hello? Okay. Um. Hello. Okay, hold this on. This is a lost profession. Yes, he started my bicycle. Hello. Seventeen. I'm. I have the call. The call forward is on. Um, I'm answering the phone in command, and when I do the transfer, it doesn't seem to be going through. Yes. Hello. Can just take their information, please. Um, if that works out, we do not have a cell phone back here. Okay, ten four. Um. Yes. Uh, uh, um. I'm sorry. Uh, not, nothing. Um. Has been turned in. Oh, um, but if you if you want to leave your uh, name and phone number, uh, we'll. Uh, we'll get back to you if if we yes, could find it. Yes, but you have the phone. What? That's my phone. My phone is is there. And if you call me, you just ring yourselves. How does that help me? Okay, can you give me your name and phone number? It's, it's me, Jim Jones. But my number's there. 
Yeah, I don't have your phone number. But that sounds there. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have my number. It'll just ring what's there. It won't reach me. You say you were told the phone is here? Yes, I'm on a pay phone. Oh, you're on a pay phone? Yes. In Do you the have shelter. a home phone? No, I'm in the shelter. I have a got a home. I lost it. They put me in the home. But I got loose. I now I'm on the streets. Yes. Oh, God, yes. What do you have? So do you phone? have a home phone number? No, it's, it's the phone that you have. If I ring you, that's my number. Your number's my number now. I'm taking your number for myself. Yes. Okay, um... Yes. Um... Right, well, uh, what, what is your name? It's Miriam. Miriam Jones. And I'm of Yorkshire. But I'm here on holiday. Ah, ah, yes. Yes. Okay, uh, your name is Jones. What's your first name? Miriam. Am I all right? Miriam, Miriam. Uh huh. And you you live in a shelter? Yes. It's a lead to next to the bus station. Yes. I've been here yes. for many a year. I have been here for many a year. Okay, and what day were you at the museum? Yes, it was Wednesday, uh, the 20, the 20, the 22nd, I believe, uh, 1934. I'm sorry, what, what was that? It's 1934, the year the competition ended. Yes. 1934? Yes, yes, my son was there, and he was quite, he was putting up quite a show for everyone, yes. I said, I said, who is this? What did you say your name was? Hello? Yes, hello? Yes, who is this? Hello? Uh-huh. Yes, who are you? Okay, um... Okay, if, if we, uh... If we find it, we'll... We'll get back what to you. What are you going to find? Who is you? What are you? What is your name? Okay, is your number a horse? Why, cat? Does that mean anything to you? I have Mary M. Mary M. Mary M. M R R A M. M O U S E. Yes. Marion. Marion Jones. Yes, you've got it. Okay. Mary Ann Jones? Yes. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. When I get down there tomorrow, I've got to show you something in me knickers. Don't you want to see me, Fanny? It's worse for you and only you. Okay, you call back tomorrow. Yes. I'll show you my Fanny. Yes, it's very moist. Oh, oh okay. Why is it so moist? Oh, I'm having a release. Oh, God, yes. Oh. Okay. 
All right, call back tomorrow. Yes. You'll call okay. me right Bye-bye. Day. Yes. Oh, All right. God, Bye. Yes. 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 Okay, bye-bye. Hi, uh, I want some alcohol. It's gonna make me feel like I'm dead inside. What do you got? Uh, what kind of liquor you like? Rye. Rye. Um, yeah. We have uh, Bullet Bourbon's rye. We have Wolf Push rye. What's the most expensive one, and then the cheapest one? Just a second. This All one. right. Ah, oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Just give me a few minutes. Yeah. I'm taking sips from what I got left. Hello. Hi. Huh? Just a this second. is Ben. Uh, on rice we have um, let me see what's the expensive rice. Uh, uh. This is rice, not expensive. Let me see. 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 Ah, nice. Mmm, nice. We have on the cheaper mm. bottles. We have um, uh, we have old push, Forester, um, and on expensive one we have some allocated bourbons. Special allocated bourbons. Yeah, you got the horsey cat. Horsey cat. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, we have a, a, a Wheeler's CYPDs, a Wheeler 12, Stag Juniors, um, Landon's. Got one with a man's name? Something manly? Manly, no. Nah, I like the manly that. ones. The manly nah, rye is what I need. It's got to have a nah. man's name on it. Yeah, that's how you know it's got quality in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We didn't have, that. We didn't have that, that kind right now. Oh, see. is this the gay section of the liquor store? I'm sorry? Is this the gay section of the liquor store? Gay section? Yeah. The Star Liquor, beer and wine, downtown liquor store. It's not the gay liquor store? No. Nah. Oh, I'm not going to find anything good there then. Mm-hmm. Alright. I'm gonna let you go. Nancy Whiskey? Yeah, hi. hi. Uh, what do you got to soak up for, uh, for me? Because I had the eggs and the, and the bacon and the bread, but I need something to soak it up, you know? Give me one second. I need to soak it up with something. Give me one second. Okay. One. Nancy's. Hi, Nancy. How you doing, honey baby? Who's this? Oh, this is Frankie. How you how you doing? Hello. Oh, hello. I'm here on holiday. Uh, I was wondering if I could get a takeaway curry. Where are you calling from, mate? Oh, I'm just down the street here. I'm I'm in a hotel. But I I which have hotel? a hankering for uh, for a chicken vindaloo. Yeah, which hotel? Oh, this one. You know, my wife booked it. I don't I don't know. I'm not really paying attention. You know, we're just on holiday. We yeah. wanted to get out of the states because of you know that Thanksgiving thing. It's scary. Yeah. People go crazy. But I've got a hankering mm-hmm. for a chicken vindaloo. Hmm. Have you got chicken Are vindaloo? Yeah, we got chicken vindaloo. Are you coming down to pick it up or? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come down there. Yeah, I heard your place you know? was uh, was very filthy. 
And that's the kind of food I want. I want filthy food, not clean food. My friend told Hello, Broom Street. How can I help you? Hi, I've got a horrible toothache. What do you recommend when I get there in terms of like a drink to numb the pain? Are you serious? Am I talking to a serious person? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I ate last night. My teeth have been hurting quite fierce. And I just want to see if you got something strong to numb the pain. Because I ain't got money for a dentist. You see. Is this a joke? <laughs> oh, God, no. No. I've been in pure agony the last week. All right. Well, if you Hopping come in, maybe I can help pills. you. All right. Can okay, right. you help me with my trousers? Okay. They're, they're I down. need to go. Bye-bye. My trousers are missing. Old Town. Hello. Hello. Hi, how can I help you? Hi there. Yeah, I got a terrible toothache here. I want to find out what kind of potions you got cooking over there to help me out with this toothache. I come all over there. Mm. It's hurting right here. You know, right in this. We lost. It's calling Motel 64. In this video, I can help you. Hi, Mr. Fuzzy there. Your line's horrible. Uh, we're doing magic in the bathtub. We made a little boo-boo. Uh, my son, he, he got those Orbeez that they inflate in the water. Mm. And they're going down the drain. Okay. I told him, don't do that. Don't do that. And then he started flushing them in the toilet. And that started overflowing. <coughs> We put some on the sink drain too, and that's now that's overflowing. Uh, the remote control float is floating by. What do I do? We can call the plumbers right now and have them sent right over to you. All right. How much am I going to owe you? Is it just what they charge? Oh, most definitely. Uh, what room number are you? It's two one five. Two one five. Okie dokie. Well, everything is wet. My son also wet his pants. Okay. Now that's all. It's all wet in here. I could take you some towels right away. Oh, would you? That that'd be so kind of you. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't swim. That's all right, son. Get on the bed. It's getting, it's getting deep. <laughs> it's all over my over my belly there. <laughs> all the the lifeguard. It's like a global <laughs> toilet in here. <laughs> all the lifeguard, Dad. <laughs> Something's gone horribly wrong. <laughs> <Can't swim. laughs> this prank is, has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Have a good you night. Me Have a good day, rings. man. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you for calling the Quinta. This is Kathy. I cannot help you. Hi. Uh, we're here in the room. Um, well, we're not really. We're not staying here. We're here with uh, someone we met last night at uh -huh. Thanksgiving. I don't know uh -huh. their name and I don't know the number here. Uh, I'm blind. Um, uh huh. But they've got me uh, tied to the bed here, and I don't think they're here anymore. Okay. Uh, I so, managed to uh, to get the machine, the phone, to dial where it thought I was. I've been calling every hotel in the area for the last uh, three hours, trying to find if I'm in the right one. Okay, so do you, this is a La Quinta in Portland. Have you been in Portland? Yeah, yeah, I'm in Portland. Yeah. Okay, by any chance, do you know the name of them? No, no, they didn't tell me their name. They said they're Mr. and Mrs. Secret. Okay, I'm sorry. In this case, I cannot help you. Sorry about that. Have a great day, Papa. Well, what What do I do? Image. Yeah. This is a... Hi, I'm here with my father. 
and we're driving, and we're wondering if you have any rooms for tonight. Yes, the rate is 95. Okay, and are they conjoined beds, or are they separate beds? Uh, it's uh, it's just it's no conjoined, no. Oh, can we push them together? I want to be no. close to my father. And then, oh. No, they, 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 yeah, they won't go close together. Um, okay, can we can we put like cots between them? Cot? No, there's not enough space for it. Uh, uh, we want to build a bridge between Ask our him beds. If they got room for my rascal scooter in the room there, I can't leave it outside. Can we Hear put the rascal it. scooter inside? Is there any room for that? Any what? A room for the rascal scooter. What 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 is that? I'm sorry. It's a mobility device for uh, people that have uh, poor mobility with their legs. So uh, I, 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 I don't want to move around. I think I think it would I think it would probably fit in the room. Okay, then we can put a board over it, and we can put blankets over the board, and then we can play night crawlers, Dad. Sounds like okay. fun. All right. Tell him we'll take it. All right, we'll be there in a half hour. Is it okay we come to book now or later? It's at three o'clock. Okay, then we'll come at three o'clock. Okay. Then we'll come at three o'clock in the uh, morning. If too. Horsey Cat can stay in our room with this. Yeah, can we, we bring our Horsey Cat? cat? No, uh, no, I'm sorry. It's a stuffed well, there is animal. A oh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. How much for a, a stuffed animal fee for the horsey cat? How much to charge you? No, no, nothing for the stuffed animal. I want to ride on the horsey cat, Dad. Yeah, take a ride on the horsey cat. Horsey cat, horsey cat. The horse with the cat's face. Oh. Okay, we'll be there soon. Three o'clock. And then we'll ride on the horsey cat together. And I'll show you my horsey cat, and you can show me yours. Right, Dad? Yes, yes, you can touch it. Tell the young man he can come up and help us in, and we'll allow him to touch the horsey cat. He's famous. Would you like to touch it, bud? You can touch it. We don't charge nothing. You can take a ride on the horse you can't. All around the room. I'll chase you with my rascal scooter dude. And we'll play night crawlers. <laughs> you wanna play night crawlers with us? To hide first. He gets to be the first one to hide. Yeah. Okay, bye. We have to go. Uh, there's a car in front of us that's causing a problem. Okay, I think I think we're okay now. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, God! No! Oh! Okay. Dad? I'm off my rascal scooter. Oh. Okay, we have to go and cover oh. up. Uh, cover up it the. It tickled bad. The, the metal. Yeah. We have to go. We'll let you go, okay? The horsey cat. The horsey cat. Oh, God. You can't run over. Hello. Hello. Hello there. Hello. 
Yes, hello there. How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Yes, I, I was wondering if you if you know what soap is. Order. Yes, uh, the food. Yeah, yeah. You have, yes, have Which you one? got a uh, goat curry? A cur curry of Vindaloo. Hold on, please. Hold oh, on. yes, I'm holding, yes, I'm holding on to the soap. One second, one second. One second, one yes. second. Yes, one bancho second, yes. <coughs> got here. Hello. Got here, right. Yes, hello. Hello. I'm going to yes. answer, please. Uh, yes, you have the Vindaloo. Vindaloo, yeah. We do. Yes, you got... Uh, what have you got for meats? A goat? Why you want chicken or meat? Yes, a chicken, yes. Chicken? Yes, one chicken vindaloo with uh, added filth and soap. Have you got soap there? To no. wash the hands? No, no. Yes, I heard from a friend you, you haven't got soap there. Now, I can sell you soap. I sell soap. I make it myself. In my bathtub at home here. In my flat. I can sell you soap. Okay, uh, our manager not there. Can you please call back after the half and half an hour? Oh yes, yes. I'll make a note of it. It's right here in my notebook. Yes, I'll give you a call right, right in a half an hour. Half past. Thank you. Uh, yes, yes. All right. Hi, Wyndham. This is Bobby. How can I help Hi. you? Bobby. Yes. How are you formed? I'm sorry? How were you formed? From my parents, I guess? Yeah, that's the right answer. Okay, have a good night. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. Montessor, I'm Boulder. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, my son, he, you know, he, uh, he was driving... With me in the car, and we were looking outside our window, and we saw that there was stuffed animals in the parking lot that were being run over. There's stuffed animals in the parking lot. Yeah, or at least I think I'm just okay. stuffed. <laughs> okay. I'll have them go pick and it up. They were talking to us, and they were horsey cats. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> the person you are trying to reach is unavailable. Uh, leave, leave your message at the tone. Press pound when finished. Uh, my son has a question about your horsey cat uh, steam locomotive. If you could give me a call back at this number right away, that'd be great. I was promising him for Black Friday I'd get it because... Money's tight, and I figured you'd have some sort of deal on the horsey cat. If you give me a call back as soon as possible, that'd be great. Thanks a lot. Hello? Yes, I'm giving a call back from someone who left a message here at the Strasburg Railroad. Excuse me? I have a phone call from this phone number. Somebody was asking me uh, questions here at the Strasburg Railroad. Who are you? I'm Brenda calling from the Strasburg Railroad. What? Never mind. I guess somebody called by mistake. Ha ha. No, you guys called me. Oh, really? Because I can tell somebody you Somebody right called now, me and was husband, like, they were looking for a train or something. You have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Who has? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk ass bitch. Hello, this is Stephanie with the Museum at Prairie Fire. We're open from now till 5. Okay. Uh, is it alright if I bring my kids there? Yep. Alright, so it's it's kid friendly? Yep. Is it is it mother approved though? Yes. Ah, uh, see, that's the problem. I don't want no mothers involved. She ruined my life. Mm. Is there anything else I can help you with? How do you make money? How do you money make? Is it donations? Uh, 
We do mm -hmm. uh, ticket purchases to go up to the Discovery Room and to the Virtual Reality. What can I discover up there? Is it for kids or for adults? For kids, there's live animals, uh, small hands-on exhibits, puzzles, and other activities. Do you discover where you came from? Uh, you learn about different forms of science. Right. Does that include the mothering part? Because I can't have none of the mothering part. She ruined my life. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, you haven't asked any, you haven't answered any of my questions. Let me see if I can find someone who can answer your question, okay? All right, but no mothers. All right, let me put you on hold. She ruined my life. Museum of World Treasures, how can I help you? Hi, have you got the turkey cloaca? Um, I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. Uh, one of the items on display, is it the turkey cloaca? Um, I'm actually not sure. I'm not uh, super experted in the uh, things we have on display. we got a lot of stuff out there, so... Do you have a list? Uh, again, we got a lot of stuff out there, so um, I you if you wanted to come yeah. in and take a look, you definitely can. Is it can, a touching or a, or a sea museum? I got uh, kids with me. All of our items are protected. Well, for the most part, all of our items are protected by plexiglass. It's not really a um, we don't uh, allow guests to touch any of the. Items. All right, because it says here in the brochure, it's hands on. We have interactives space station throughout the exhibits, but our actual artifacts are not uh, for the public to, to grab. Well, that's not hands-on. That's hands-off. Well, that's false well, advertising. I didn't make the brochure, man. All right, well, you get me in touch with your marketing department so we can fix that. Or uh, they, you're liable at, for things. It's marketing at worldtreasures.org. All right, that's where I'm headed. So how do I get there? What's the address? It's an email address, sir. Well, what's the, the street address? Our museum is uh, 834... No, not the museum. Your marketing department. We are in in-house operations. I got operation. fixes right now. We, we are in in-house right operations, sir. Calling the Oz Museum and Columbian Theater. This is Molly. How may I help you? Hi. Have you got any yellow bricks there? We do not. Oh, have you got the little persons? The like munchkins? The costumes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah we, we do have a couple of the munchkins costumes in the museum. Can my son try it on? No. Yeah, yeah. I want to be overloaded, Dad. Is Willie there? She's not. All right. Was Mr. Oz there? I need to inspect his peephole. What was that? Dog. Mr. Oz. <laughs> no, he's not here either. All right. Son, you got any more questions for the lady? We ask her if she has the little dog with the Toto. We can pet him. I love a little dog. Do you He's like so the rains in Africa? We do have a sign that says, I miss the rains down in Africa. There it is. That's what we're going to get, son. <laughs> oh, yay. So I you want right to pet out Toto. Yeah. Can I pet her Toto? No. No, it's all fuzzy. It's soft. Oh, we got to go. He's getting all irritable and such. Got to give him his medicine. All right, well, have a good day. <laughs> We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> I want to go, Nate. Mr. Ross. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, there's a tornado. <laughs> Oh God, taking us! No! Ah! Oh! 
We're flying! Figured out when the time comes. Whoa, why is that gaining? Good afternoon, Ken City Auto Museum. How can I help you? Hi, what cars you got there? <laughs> well, about 35, 30. We have all right, sorts what of cars. Makes our muscle cars? Um, well, we have a 1911 Ford. We have a 1921 Essex. We have a 25 Jordan, a 30 Chevy, a 2020... Um, Ew. Ew, that's gross. Well, I don't think we have any muscle cars on the floor right now. You got no Model A? I got a Model A. A 30 well, Model we, A, in fact. We don't have a Model A on the floor, either. We oh. have uh, a little more wide variety than you might expect. We got uh, 1960s, like early 60s, uh, Chevelle. You're asking about American cars only. We have a... Oh, a, yeah, yeah. Well, this is America. 60, we have an early 60s Jag in here. No, that's not a, American. That, no, we have no. a 50... That's disgusting. Even we have an... Eight, I don't think we have anything you want to see. You, you don't have American vehicles in America. Yeah, we do, but I haven't gotten well, to Just those. a handful. But the rest of them is from some foreigner's place. Well, we got a 36 Chevy I'm same. looking at. I'm looking at a uh, 57 Chevy, a uh, 56 Packard, a 60... Yeah, my mother Chevy. was conceived in the back of a Packard. We're looking at a uh, 60 Corvette. Um, All right. All right. Let's see, we have a 2020 I'm the proud owner of a Ford 64 GT. Chevelle. Well, if you Ford want to see or. Chevelles, we don't have any. Well, we how about I give you mine? It's just, it's such a boat, you know? That's the one good thing about those foreign cars. They're slim and sleek. And more efficient. Well, do you still live in Tennessee? Yes, I do. It's going to be a little hard to get in here today anyway, isn't it? Well, I'm here in the hotel. Ah, there you go. Well, yeah. why don't you come on over and uh, see if you can find anything you like in here. Well, I'm sure there's something I like. It's just I'm not sure I like you. Well, that's understandable. A lot of people don't like me. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry. Yep. Well, then I'll, I'll avoid you. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do, upset you. I'm not in the least bit upset. I didn't mean to upset you. I'm sorry. I'm oh, not my upset. My son's going to be so upset with me. He's going to be so cross. Oh, he wanted to go <laughs> to your museum. Well? What is he, Michael Jordan? Where can I get there, son? He said they had Michael Jordan there today. I want to get his autograph, my, auto, my basketball. Nobody has We're ever said we'd there. have Michael Jordan here. Well, it's said here on the flyer. Yeah. It's no. here, Michael Jordan. Kansas no. City Automotive Museum with Michael Jordan Black Friday. Nope. Yeah. Well, we got it here at the truck stop. Michael there was a flyer in the fax machine. Well, you bring that thing by here, and I'll get Michael Jordan in for you, but I need to see the flyer first. Well, all right. I'll be there. Oh, in yeah. Now. We yeah. can get there in an hour. Yeah. All right. Can he sign my basketball? Bye-bye. Ask him if he can sign my basketball. All right. Gonna... Hello? Hello, Tom. Museum State Historic Site. Grady Outwater speaking. Hi. I have questions about the museum. How can I help you? What sort of artifacts do you have? Oh, we have we have one very, very big one. We have the uh, cabin of Reverend Samuel Adair and his wife Florella, Florella, 
inside of a stone pergola, which is uh, which John Brown's headquarters while he was here in Kansas Territory. Uh, we have multiple items of the were owned by John Brown, used by John Brown, and uh, other. You have uh, his toilet. Uh, or no, outhouse. Have, uh, oh. Well, I do have a restroom, but we don't have his outhouse. That's unfortunate. You can learn a lot about a man's out, outhouse. Uh-huh, you know, what yeah, he likes yeah. to read. Uh-huh. What he likes to do when he's by himself, whittling mm-hmm. around, you know, with his, with his fingers and his ass. Uh-huh. Wiggling. Oh, yeah. You can learn a lot. Absolutely. Uh-huh. What else you got? Well, uh, we have uh, one of the uh, pikes that John Brown had. Um, that he used uh, was going to give to the slave, the enslaved African Americans for when they fought for freedom. We have one of his hats. We have one of his holsters. Um, let's see, we have a saddle that he used and multiple rifles that he has. What kind of character was this John Brown? Uh, John Brown was a um, abolitionist. He was, um, of course, like all of us, he had his faults. Um, he was um, he was ab- he was completely dedicated to the Afri- to the to freeing African Americans from slavery. And, All right, I was uh, worried it was the other way around. I was very concerned for what I just called. Uh, nope. He's, uh, he, is, he was very much against slavery. All right, good. Mm-hmm. I just want to be sure I didn't call the wrong place, you know? You, uh, you called the right place. All right. It's good for kids? I can bring them? Good for kids. You can bring the kids. All right, we'll teach them right. Absolutely. All right. And what what uh, yeah, they, they got Girl Scout cookies too with their brownies. No, no that kind of place. Hello? I, I, you have Girl Scout cookies? No, we don't have Girl Scout cookies, huh? Right, you have a cafeteria or no? No, we don't have a cafeteria, but we do have a nice restaurant in town you can go visit. All right, perfect, perfect. Well we'll get food before we go in, because he's getting a little weird, you know? His blood sugar's down, and I think he's getting a little, little woo. Brownies, then. Yeah, we'll get brownies at the yeah, restaurant. We'll be good. Uh, All right. Uh, uh, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to uh, thank you for your for your help, and I'll see you in a little while. Looking forward to seeing you. All right. Uh, all right. Have a good one. I, I will. Y'all thank you, John me. Brown. Uh, you're welcome. Look forward to seeing y'all. All uh, right. Bye. Bye. Can't wait. Science you know what Science. song oh, this can is? I help you? Hello? Hello? Science Museum, Hello? Oklahoma. How can I help you? Hi. Hi, I'm here with my friend here. And we have questions about the museum. Okay. Um, is, it, is it meant for children more or, or adults? It is primarily a children's museum. A lot of it is... Um, oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Geared towards younger kids. That's disgusting. Mm-hmm. Kids never wash their faces. Dirty they don't faces. wash their hands. They you know, they have snot. They rub it on everything. They're disgusting, oh, you know? It's, it's, we do have a pretty uh, big custodial team that is working throughout the museum all day to be cleaning. They must cleaning. be full-time. Um, They're full-time, aren't they? Uh, we do have a couple full-timers. Yeah, because kids are disgusting, you know? Ew. Mm -hmm. Leaping their toys out. Always tripping over the the Legos and step on them in the middle of the night when it's dark. It's so sore. I thought I'd broken a toe when I stepped on a Lego. National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, this is Diana. How can I have the pleasure of helping you? Hi, do you have horsies there, horsey cats? I'm so sorry. A horsey cat? What is a horsey cat? Oh, it's a horse uh, receptacle. Uh, you put around the belly of the horse, and it holds its uh, appendage, you know, the fifth leg. It holds it up from the ground so it doesn't drag everywhere. Um, it's a possibility. I'm going to say that this is a new question for me. 
So what was it called again? A horsey... Horsey cat. It's like two animals together. Um... Like horsey and cat go together. So. Oh, like a horse cat? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a cat with a horse's body, and a very large, uh, you know what, you know. Um, no, uh, I would have to say, without a shadow of a doubt, I'm uh, pretty sure that we do not have a horse cat in the museum. No, a horsey cat. Yes, that one. Ho yeah, no, it's a horsey cat, not horse cat. Horsey cat? Yeah. Okay, like a live animal? No, 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 it's a stuffed animal for kids. To teach them about oh. horses and how big their sexual organs are. Uh, no, I don't think we have one uh, on display in the galleries. I could transfer you to the museum store to see if they have one to sell. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, that's where I need to be. I, yeah? I'm sorry, I thought that's okay. where I reached. Oh, no worries. Let me transfer you, okay? Oh, perfect. Thank you. You're a de and you're a dear. We're sorry we missed your call. Please stay on the line to leave a message, and someone from the Persimmon okay. store will be in contact with you soon. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, I was just calling to see if you had a horsey cat, a stuffed toy from my son. He loves the horse and cat, and I just want him to learn about the horse's large sexual organs. And I understand that the horsey cat has such uh, large sexual organs on it, but it has a cat's face. If you can give me a call back, and that's my son in the background. If you give me a call back as soon as possible. What a horsey cat. Yeah, horsey cat horsey out. Cat. Hello. Okay. Hello. I'm calling from the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. We just received a very strange phone call from this number, and I was just checking to see if everyone was all right. Excuse me? I said we just received a very strange phone call from this number, and so I was just calling back to make sure everyone was all right. Who are you? I just told you I'm calling from the uh, Art Museum in Oklahoma City. What? I'm actually going to get you guys over here. I'm so sorry. Ha ha. Uh, I'm not being funny, ma'am. We received uh, a call, and we're just making sure everyone's okay. Okay. Very oh, really? Because I can yeah. tell you right now, my husband, mm -hmm. you have sat there and harassed me and harassed me on my show. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. What show? And have you been here before? Motherfucker, what the fuck, you punk-ass bitch? Uh -huh. oh. You fucking loser. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Local center, this is Jessica. Hello? How can I help you? Hi, uh, I like to scream at Bones. Is that something I can do there? Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah, machines I can I can look at and... Respect. Um, what kind of machines? Horse machines. Horse machines. I'm afraid I don't know um what you machines are to tame about. the horse to to take care of the horse. Uh, no, this is the Oklahoma the History Center. Who who are you trying to reach? Well, I'm trying to reach the head horse. Okay, you've called the Oklahoma History Center, so I believe you right a history of horses in Oklahoma. No, um, okay, I don't. We don't have an exhibit on that, and our research center is closed today. You might try calling back on tomorrow. What's well, there research about horses? Uh, well, I don't know. You would need to speak to someone in the research. Well, it's center. an animal and it has machines. It doesn't sound like you know anything about horses. What kind of museum is this? I'm going to recommend that you call back tomorrow if you want to speak to someone in the research center. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to assist you today. We have no horses. How about carriages? Horseless carriages? Um, can you call back tomorrow when the research center is open? Well, who are you? 
I am working at the admissions desk and in the museum store, so I can help you with admissions to the museum, and I can help you in the museum All store. All right, I'd like I- to admit something. I'm not really fond of, of horses. I was just wondering for my son's sake. That's my admission to you. I'd also like to admit that this is a prank phone call, and I'm not doing a very good job. Dr. Las Vegas, this is Penny. How may I direct your call? Penny, uh, is Inspector Gadget there? Is who? Mr. Gadget, Inspector. He's the inspector that I was dealing with with regard to the situation in the room. He said to call back. Um, I haven't spoke with you. What what situation and who were you supposed to well, speak to? The the inspector, Gadget, he told me to do all these things in the room. So uh, he ins- he told me that I had to smash the TV um, because there was a virus in the telephone. Does he not work for you? He said he worked Sir, for you. Sir, you've reached a business. Right. I'm in the hotel. And the man on the phone, he told me... What, to what, room, are, what the room are you in? And I'll just send security up. Well, why are you going to send security up? Where's so the they inspector? Can go in, so they can go inspect the room. What room are you in? Right, but, but wait, if, if I give you the room number, you're just going to send security up. And I don't want to deal with that. Well, sir, like, I have, I was other, I have other calls. Phone. I have other calls to, that are holding right, right. now. I need to know your room number. Called, we don't have an inspector gadget. Now, I can I can call security to go up because there's going to be... Well, maybe speed. you need to check your phones because he called me and he was calling for your number. He said... What the fuck? Golden Gate Front Desk, how can I assist you? Hi, we got a phone call. Uh, some guy, he claimed that he was working for you at the front desk. And uh, we're thinking maybe it was a lie the whole time. Um, he made us do things in the room that I'm thinking this is going to be ex- an expensive stay now. What happened? Well, the man what said that there was. Well, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather get to that at the end because it's quite a long story. I'm concerned for my safety. Well, he said he worked for you, and then he said you got to smash the TV because there's a computer virus in it. And we can't send no one up there to do it for us. So we smashed the TV. Oh, that's a lot. And then they had my son defecate in the toilet. But then they said, oh, you got to pull it out, pull it out. So we we did our best and we pulled it out. And then they said, okay, now you, you have to paint the room. So we did that because they said, you know, if we didn't do that, they were going to send security because we smashed the TV. And so then okay. he goes on and says, "Well, now we got to smash the mirrors because we can see you." And I thought, "Well, I don't want anyone to see us, so I smashed the mirrors, and everything's all right. I mean, I, I collected the glass and everything into the baggies so it wouldn't go anywhere. And uh, well, we got a little suspicious at that point, so we asked him, "Well, what's the number of the hotel?" Because he was just calling from an outside line, you see. And he, he said, oh, I don't know, I'm, uh, but I'm working here. And he said, just call the front desk. They'll, they'll take care of everything. Okay, what room number are you in? Well, that's the thing. He stole the room number on the way out. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Oh, good. You're there. Who's I'm up? on holiday. Yes, I'm on holiday, and I'd like to teach you what a mop is. You what? A mop. Have you ever cleaned your mop? <laughs> Coming up on the second hour. One more hour to go. Thank you for calling Elisa Hotel. How can I help you? 
Hi. They turned us away. Are you going to turn us away? Hi, I'm Irish. And Ellis Island's been turning us away. Are you going to turn me away? I'm sorry, did you say that you got evicted from the casino? No, no. I was told to be turned away. I came there last night and they turned me away. They said you got to go to Canada. I'm not driving all the way to Canada to, to stay for a night in the Vegas. Okay, so if you would like to, you can stop by the front desk and make a reservation. Do you have chicken there? I'm sorry? Chicken? A restaurant? Food? Or anything? I'm sorry, I'm not understanding. Do you want to make a reservation or do you want to get in contact with the restaurant? Well, I want I want to know what you got amenity wise. Have you got shampoos and soaps in the in the rooms? Yes. Have you got food? Yeah, it's not complimentary, but yes. Okay, that's all I need to know. Otherwise, just have a nice day. All right. All right then. Bye. Bye bye. Oh. Thank you for calling Arizona Charlie's Decatur. This is Stacy. How may I direct your call? Oh, Stacy. Hi. I'm walking around outside. I'm not staying here or anything, but there's some people lighting up uh, like balloons on the side here. It look like they're full of gas or something. They're, they're going boom, boom, boom. And they said, oh, you want to take a gander at this, buddy? And they said, you know, I'll, I'm going to light your hair. I'm going to touch your hair. And then they touched my son's hair. And then they lifted a lighter to his head and said, you see, we hold the fire in our hands, you see. Where they is work this, for sir? You? Oh, out here on the side of the building here, like where there's no uh, no windows. On Evergreen Street, sir? Yeah. Yeah, right. I mean, there's a door. There's doorways. I guess that Did might be a window you want to speak to too. security, sir, to tell them exactly where? Well, I don't know. Is security the, these people? Is this security? Uh, that doesn't sound like something security would do, sir. Well, they said they worked for the hotel, and they had security like insignia on their sign, the, the, the hand. You know, the, the thing, the... Uh, what do you call it, sir? I'm sorry, I'm not on property, and I have no idea what you're oh. talking about. But they uh, they won't just touch your son without permission. Can I connect you with security, sunny, sir? Sunny. Well, Can I, I you don't with know. Security? had the janitor uniform on. He had a janitor uniform. Do you, do you want to speak to security? Hair. Do you want to speak to security? Yeah, let's talk to security. Let's okay, get one, one oh, moment, sir. Started. Okay. Yes, certainly, certainly. One moment. All right. Yes, oh, certainly. Okay. Good. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I'm at first. Oh. Hello? Hi. Hello? Hi. Uh, we've got a situation brewing outside here. I'm just a local walking by. Hello? Yeah, this is the operator, sir. Who do you need to speak to? Oh, are you on site or no? Sir, this is the hotel operator. We're in an office. Right. Who do you need to speak to? Oh, I need to speak to whoever's in charge of what's going on outside the hotel. What's going on outside of the hotel so I know who to transfer you to? Well, one of your advertising drones, it started following me as I walked by, and it's been advertising to me ever since for your hotel. And I'd really like it to leave me alone. What kind of advertising, sir? What are you referring to? Well, it's like it's a flying drone, and it keeps flying in front of my face and taking pictures of me. It says, come to the hotel. You know, it's advertising your hotel here. Experience life rewarding. <laughs> Hello? 
Who's in charge? Security dispatch, Tony. I'm going to help you. Hi. Uh, are you in charge of this, these drones that are flying around and taking my picture and advertising to um, me? To the hotel. No. <laughs> okay, well, it's advertising your hotel to me. It's been following me for six city blocks here. I don't know nothing about no drone. To the hotel. I thought for sure you, you guys were doing this. So it's someone else? Do you have, like, a competitor that hates you or something? I don't know anything Ooh, about the hotel. drone. I might be able to pick it up and, like, you know, bring it to you so you can check it out. Okay. Because um, it's been following me. It, it, it even went in with me into the bathroom. And it was yeah, snapping photos know. of my junk, um, you know? The hotel, I'm man. really concerned about my I, privacy here. Uh, okay. So, so is a drone inside the hotel? No, um, it's outside. I've been hotel. walking. I, I was walking by, and this thing came flying out of nowhere. And it started talking to me and um, advertising your hotel. hotel. But then it started taking pictures because it came out, it, it came in front of me and it um, started making the clicking the sound like the picture is being taken. Okay, well, if you could show us a picture of the drone, then maybe we can help you bring it to security. I'll it bring the drone terrible. and then we can look at pictures of my junk. Have a good day. Okay. Good morning, thank you for calling Motel 6. I was going to speak in. How may I help you? Hi, he's fucking me. Oh, 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 oh. He's fucking me. Hello, thank you so much for calling the Georgia Aquarium. My name is Valentina. If we continue with the call, may I please know your name? Oh, I'm, I'm just a visitor. So my name is Visitor. Or guest. Okay. How can I help you? Uh, we're in desperate need of whale eggs. Whale eggs? Yes. From, like, the aquarium? Yes. My so... son wanted a, a nice big breakfast, but I'm out of eggs. And so he said, oh, call here. They have the big whale eggs. So I was hoping I can get some. Okay, allow me one second on the line and I'll be back, okay? I'll see you okay. how I can give you a response. It's one second, right? And we're not going to be here for two seconds? Yes. I'll hold for one. one okay, one moment, yes. A moment's fine. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for waiting on the line. Um, yes. Hello. Hi. Hi, um... I'm sorry, I think I misunderstood you. So what is it specifically that you need? Uh, whale eggs and uh, dolphin flakes and uh, uh, penguin penisu. Okay, thank you so much for calling, okay? Point of Aquarium, how may I help you today? Hi, uh, do you have uh, eggs there? To start our own? Um, no, sir. There's no starter cultures to have, uh, to make the, the fish grow in the tank? Uh, uh, no, sir. We don't sell any... What about tadpole powder? No, sir. We don't sell any. Alright, what do you got for kids? Kids? Um... So we have shirts, we have toys, um, we have some candy, that's about it. What kind of candy? Is it fish shaped or aquarium themed? Um, so we have some rock candy. Okay, that's kind of like the rocks inside the aquarium. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we'll be by later, and I'll be there a little tipsy because we've been drinking all night, but it's all right. Right, son? Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. It's right. over. Right. All right. I want some, I want some bold fish. Can you bowl some fish for me? Will you... Will you deliver 
don't believe tell we can those do kids that. fish in the background. Can we oh, put tell our them hands fish in, in the, the background tank? to shut the heck up? Yeah, all those kids gotta shut the fuck up. It's just too loud. It's getting on my nerves. Not you, but those oh, damn yeah. kids. I think they're putting fingerprints all over the glass. They probably tap they on the glass and make the fish clean? angry. Oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock on the glass. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, it's gonna crack. No, don't oh. do it. Don't do it. It's gonna crack. Oh, it's not gonna crack. It's an aquarium. They made it special. Oh, it's not gonna. I don't think it's going to crack. To bite me. Is it going to crack? Oh. I don't know. Hello? <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's good. At least there's that. As long as it won't break. It's bulletproof. Good. I like my fish with heat. Can I have it over easy? Extra greasy? I don't believe we sell anything fish to eat, but that would be an interesting mm. concept. Yes. What is, that's what everybody should be having in the aquarium. Fish. You get to eat what you're looking at. Yes, sir. How about eel? Is that an eel? Sorry, I was making a deposit in the toilet. I had a flush. Oh. Turn on the fan. Turn on the fan. Ooh. Ooh. You got Glade Air Freshener. Oh, awesome. Hi, Seymour Marine Discovery Center. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I had a question about the glass, the aquarium glass. Um, let's see if I can help. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, how like how does it like, how strong is it? If you if you push on it? Um you could but we ask that you wouldn't. You can't push on it, like it's weak, it'll break. Well like you could push on it, but for the safety of our animals and just not disturbing them, we ask that you like don't. with your hands. Just like push yeah. just push it on it with your hands. Yes. Do you have like, like a spot you can push on it? Like if you want to like touch all over it and stuff. Like you could you could touch our aquarium glass. Um, like put, like no. with your hands and put like, you're pushing on it and you push on it with your hands. Yes. Like, like to get you know like I'm trying to get you know cause you gotta how do you say it like closer? Um. Well, you you can't move the glass. Oh no! I'm just trying to get closer. If I just put, like, if I get, if you're, I'm too, like, I'm real far away and I'm trying to get, like, up close, personal, personal space with the fish. Um, the glass won't move. Um. No, I, I hope not. Is it, is it supposed to? No, it won't. How hard do I, I gotta push it? I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't I'm pushing understand. on it. I'm just pushing on it real hard. I'm pushing on it. Yeah, I don't know what reason you would have to push that hard on our aquarium glass. What if I take... Okay. What if I take my shoes off? Excuse me? Because then I can't put... If I take my shoes off, does that help? If I'm pushing on it with my hands, if I take my shoes off? If you... I... Sir, I'm sorry. I don't know how to answer these questions. Off my feet. I don't have shoes... I don't have shoes on my hands. I'm talking about I take my shoes off my feet. Yes, I don't know how that would help at all. Are, from you know, from pushing on the aquarium glass, I was take my shoes off. Then I can't, you know, it's harder to push. Um. Okay, I would say you don't have to touch the glass. It's honestly really close and personal already. Um. And to push on any aquarium glass, I don't. I don't know if there's any purpose to that. Okay. Well, I get my hands on there, and I can get my face right up to the glass then. You could get your face right up to the glass, yes. Um, but, yeah, pushing on well, it, pu- taking I'll, your stuff off. Does, yeah. Does I'll, no I'll try to be pushing. Yeah, I'll try to get closer. But if I'm getting too close, I can push with my hands, and then my, my face will get 
You know, it can like balance how close my face is to the glass. I can balance it. Like a balancing, like a push balance, back and forth. And I'll take my shoes off. Okay. Um, you're welcome to do whatever of those that you like. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to answer these questions. I have though. socks are... on. I do have socks on. Okay. I'm, I'm wearing I'm... So- I have sock. I'll just do it in my sock feet. Okay, please keep your shoes on um, and feel free to come. I'm sorry, well, I don't know okay. how to answer these questions better. Uh, we like, are pretty busy. Like a, like a lean, like a, well, I mean, how hard can I, I mean, just if I just lean on it? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, thank you, sir. We are really busy. Have a good day. Bye-bye. All right, I love you. Bye. Good morning, Yuka Supermarket. Can I help you? Hi. You have lobsters? Huh? You have a lobster or a buzzy phone line that I can't make out anything and you probably can't hear me either? Just a second, okay? Hello? Oh, oh Is boy. Something, you have it? He asked me. He's, he's speaking to you through an AM radio. Hello? Hello? Hi. Uh, can you turn down your Geiger counter? What happened? The radiation, the radiation on the phone line is really uh, making it hard to hear you. Oh, I don't know how to turn it on the thing. Oh, do you have uh, lobsters? No, we don't sell lobster. Oh, do you know who sells lobsters around here? Yeah, um, go to, uh, what's it called? It's a store on Bronson, uh, Gelson. Uh, I got it, I got it. I yeah, got it. it, okay. Hey, Dad. All right, bye. Yeah. Ask them if they got crabs. You got crabs? No. No, oh. lobster, no crabs. What do you have? Uh, we have uh, just uh, trim, but frozen. We don't we don't got those stuff. Okay, make sure you get your phone line inspected by a doctor, a licensed doctor, because it's got a problem. It sounds okay. like it has crabs. Okay. Okay. Bye. Have a nice okay, day. Okay. Bye. You bye. too. <laughs> bye. Good, Good afternoon, Will Rogers Museum. Hi, oh, this stupid phone. Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, thank God. Okay. Uh, I had a problem with, um, we, we we took one of them home, and we don't know how, like, we're having trouble, like, preparing it. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, I think you've got the wrong number. You got the fish, right? Do what? You have the fish, right? No, we don't have the fish. fish. This is the Will Rogers got? Museum. Yeah, don't you have them things swimming around? We don't have fish swimming around. The man told me that this place had fish swimming around, and this is the place. Where is the fish mm-hmm. that are swimming around? Don't you have like a like a well or a basement somewhere? We don't have. Tell me about the fish swimming around. We don't have any fish swimming around up here. We've never had any well, like fish prepared? swimming up here. We don't have any. Do you have well, anything this, is a, horse? This, is a, yeah. this is a museum. We don't have any kind yeah. of food up here. Oh, okay. Well, why are you giving me trouble about it? Why am I what? He's, he's, my buddy is he's, he's saying that you stole his horse. But I'm not, not sure about that. I was talking horse. about the fish. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, just kind of loosely. We don't have horses or anything up here. I'm sorry. This is a business. Did you sell it? Yeah, you must have sold it in like a like a horse chop no, shop. No, we didn't sell any Horse shop. And I need to hang up. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Someone's decided that, uh, you know. that into the call. Yeah. Like they're vacuuming. Somebody's vacuuming. She has a trail heritage center. Hello? How can I help you? Hi, uh, how do I prepare it? I've got the machine turned on. I took it. And now how do I prepare it? Okay, who are you looking for? A uh, lobster mechanic. Um, this is the museum here in Duncan. Right. And I took the lobster from the museum, and now I'm trying to cook it. How do I do this? Okay. I have no visitors. I'm about this noise. 
Hi, I got this noise in the background. Is that gonna like be a, be a problem if I have this noise with me when I come and visit? Like, do you hear that? The noise in the back. It's, yeah, that you hear that like that. It sounds like a leaf blower or something, like something ridiculous. Like it's not. Yeah, like it's, it sounds like that. Uh huh. You're asking if Is that's that gonna, gonna be, a, be problem? a problem if you come visit yeah, the museum. Yeah. Yeah, if I have that leaf, it's going to sound like that if I come and visit the museum. That's how I sound. That's how you... Um, uh, um, like I don't... Yeah. It's, it's medical. But I don't know, sometimes... Oh. It, I don't know, you can't always say that. Oh, um, yeah, I don't think it would be a problem, honestly. Okay. Okay, well, it's just, it's a Do you hear that, right? Yeah, I can hear it, but, I mean, okay, it's good, a good. medical issue. There's nothing you can I really want, do, well, so. Well, I just want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into with, with <laughs> okay, me and my fine. noises. Yeah, I got all kinds of, that, that's just like the, that's the standard noise. It, it can get louder, it's gotten softer, but, I mean, it's 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 kind of like that, like just all the time with this. Yeah, it should be okay. Okay, I'll try to muffle it as best as I can with some blankets. Okay. All right. Have thank a nice you. Day. I appreciate your uh, on Thanksgiving and is, is happy. Thank, thank you. Goodbye. I love you. Bye. Right. Thank you for calling the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. How can I help you today? Hello? Hi. Hi. My my grandmother called me. Uh, she said she was stuck somewhere in there. I'm going to three-way her in, okay? I'm just going to press the button here. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Uh, zero. Grandma, you there? Hey. Hello. 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 Yes, hello. Oh. I'm somewhere inside the museum. I can't see a thing. I went looking for the loo, but I've got it lost. And my grandson here, I, I couldn't help me. Not at all. Can you help me, dear? What floor are you on? I, well, I'm not quite sure. I was in a talk. Grip was my son-in-law. And... And his, his children. And I said, oh, I've got to find a loo. So I went looking. And I found a door. But it shut behind me. And there's no lights in here. I said, oh, but perhaps it's the second floor. Yes. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I've got a... What? But when I got in here, I couldn't find it, the toilet. So I took down my trousers and made quite a mess in here. And I'm not sure if this is a, a storeroom or Can a machine please? room. I think I'm getting pranked. Hello? Hello? Yes. Oh, see. Are you there? Are you at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art? Yes, yes. We were looking at the art. And I was at my head with this painting. And it was very, very tiny, but beautiful. Yes. I thought so the Lord said, Oi, maybe that's not so, so beautiful. He said he wanted to burn it. But I thought I'd not know it. Now I was going to the loo. And so I went for looking. And where I found it's not a loo at all. It's a cupboard of some sort. All right, ma'am. If you hold on for just a second. Yes. Yes, I'm holding. What's that now? 
It's the landscapers. Don't worry. We're still three way in, Grandma. Yes. Hello. Yes, it is. I'm inside yes. of a cupboard or something in your premises here. And I, I can't find my way out. What happened? I'm in a, a dark room that I thought was a loo. But it, are, I can't find my way out. All right, are you okay? Yes, yes. And when I got in here, I, I did think that it was a, a toilet here. Uh, so I did do my business on the floor. But I didn't want to tilt them up. My trousers again. And I was the are, last time. Yes. Where are you? I don't know. There was a door. I thought it was a loo. But it closed behind me. And there's not any light in here. And my where son, are you? My son right, where, where are you? In the dark room. Where? In a dark room? I have the second floor somewhere. I'm All sure right. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Talk to Mary. I'm going to go look up Yes. Okay. Hello? Okay. Yes. Hello. Ma'am, can I get a, a, a cell phone number to call you back in case we get disconnected? Oh, I don't know it. I'm sorry. I'm, I really don't. My, my family gave me this. It's a life for a lot. It's not a phone, it's per se. They said the emergency number to wherever we go. Because I'm, I can host a lot, you see. And I hope the doors are not meant to be in. This, this has happened a lot. So I press the button, and here we are. There's no, no dialing fire door. Anyway, I can call anyone else. Yes. So there's not a way to call you. There's no way to call you back if we were to get disconnected. No, you're just you're just ringing yourselves. Huh? I'm sorry to say. Go, um, Raven is on the third floor. Okay. I'm a life alert people. They'll have to, but they can't get in contact with me because my number's now your number because that's how my family said it. Now you're my babysitter for the day, I'm afraid. Yes. That's what they done to me, you see. They put me in the home. They take me out and they treat me like a dog. I'm the family pet, you see. Mm -hmm. Well, security is suggesting that you hang up and call 911. I can't. It's just so that I have you again. My family says the number to yours. You're my emergency contact. There's nothing I can do about that. Well, it doesn't have any buttons there. There's two buttons. There's one that to call you very quickly. And then Thank you for calling Trader Joe's USC. This is Jaime. How am I assist you? Hi, Trader Joe's grocery store. Um, I have a thing with uh, with some of the fish I got from there. It was It was just like a weird thing because... Uh, the one I had, it still had like teeth and stuff in it, and I thought it was dead, but it, it bit, and like I was preparing it and it bit me. The fish bit you? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not really used to that. Is that normal? That is not normal. Why? Uh, I, why did it? It only did it once, but it did bite me though, and I'm not really sure why. It, but it did bite me. Is, uh, Am I, yeah. Do I need to be worried about it? No, well, we don't sell we don't sell live fish, so I know it's not alive, but it still bit me. That's why should I be worried about this? Is it like some zombie shit, or am I just am I overreact like a, like a SD test or something? I, I don't know. Is it like a syphilis thing? If you get bit by a, like it's a dead fish. If you get bit by a dead fish, what happens? Nothing that I'm aware of. 
I've never been bitten by a dead fish before. That's why I'm calling and asking. Are you sure nothing happens? I'm pretty sure. Have you ever been bitten by a dead fish before? No. Okay, see, so yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too confident anymore. You, do you got somebody there that's been bitten by a dead fish before? Uh, I don't think so. How, okay, how do you know then? Ah, uh, because uh, dead fish will not bite. It bit me. Oh, okay, you want to see the man. wound? I'm good. Is there, is there anything? It hurt real up bad. <laughs> okay, well, man. Is, is there anything else to help you out with? They can give me some salve or Vaseline or something to put on the on the wound. I mean, you're not going to do anything else. Uh, yeah, you could go to Target and see if they could give you something with it, or you could go to your local doctor. Target, they don't they don't deal with fish bites. Uh, neither we do we, sir. You sell that stuff. Target doesn't even sell fish. Yes, it does. Not like that. Huh? Not like that. Yeah. They don't sell fish like that. They sell it frozen in a box. You sure about that? Yes. Yeah, my man. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. But yeah, there's nothing I could pretty much do about it. Target doesn't sell anything that can bite me. That is correct. Mm-hmm. Okay, man. Well, have a good day, okay? Can I get a Band-Aid from you then? Or what? are we sure, going to hang out at least? Give, come here. I'll be happy to give you a Band-Aid. Like we hang out and like do the mandate thing for a little bit. Yeah, that is fine. Yeah, we just hang out while we do okay. the band. Like, okay, yeah, we just hang good. out for a little bit. With the, what, we're gonna hang out. We we'll do the bandaid together. Like, yeah, we will just hang out. All right, sounds good. Then I can tell you about. I can tell you about it. I can tell you all about the fish. Okay, sounds good, boss. Have a good day, man. Like, okay, I want to. I want to hang out together then, right? All right, sounds good. Bye, bye. Okay, I, well, I love you.